Hey guys, it's Attack Simba the G here, and for today, we are gonna do some quick Sonic the Hedgehog news for today's video. And so for this topic, we now know that the third movie is in development. We do not know when it's gonna be happening or when they're gonna be showing more info. However, I didn't really know about this, but just recently there was a there was uh this year's Comic Con that just happened, and one of the screenwriters, Josh Miller and Pat Casey, came along and gave out a Q and A session where they answered a few questions regarding about the third. Sonic movie. We know that Shadow's gonna be appearing in it, but they also gave out a bunch of different answers for a few questions that many are, are pretty much asking at this point about another character appearing, Jim Carrey, the character of Shadow, and especially the release date as well. And so with that, let's not waste time, let's get straight into it. So right here, this is this is according to Pat Casey and, and Josh Miller, where Paramount is already in talks with a Hollywood actor for the role of Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic Movie 3. So yeah, remember when I said that, you know, Jason Griffin is very unlikely to ever come back to replace the role as Shadow? Yeah, I was right about that. I knew they were going to do, like, this Hollywood actor thing. I really do hope that Robert Pattinson would make the perfect Shadow. I know many want Keanu Reeves, but when I saw the Batman movie this year, I actually think Robert Pattinson makes a perfect shadow and given his role in Twilight in the Twilight series yeah I can definitely see that and also for those who are asking about the release date Sonic Movie 3 is planned to possibly release in 2024 they said possibly they aren't certain yet so I can definitely understand that I mean given how the t if you guys see the time gap between the first movie the second movie and the third movie the first movie came out in 2020 the second one just came out this year and with the Knuckles show coming out next year it would definitely make sense to see the third movie coming out in 2024 but keep in mind they said possibly but not only that like i said they gave out a bunch more info thanks to the my nintendo news article here and here i'm going to be telling you a bunch of different questions and answers that they were given and also received first up when asked about Amy Rose and if she could appear in the sequel, the duo couldn't answer it properly due to a non-disclosure agreement, but said things that are but said that things are in the works. In regards to Jim Carrey possibly retiring from acting, the duo was hopeful to bring him back for the third film, but that was mainly up to Carrey. Miller was careful not to comment on specific plot lines for the third film, but concluded that it was not that it was not revealing given uh Shadow's introduction to the movie franchise that there are plans to incorporate elements from Sonic Adventure 2 and the Shadow the Hedgehog spin-off game in the film. Nothing can be said about Shadow's voice actor, and okay, I already went through that. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is currently on what it is called the Blue Sky phase of script writing, where every idea of what the movie could be is, is being proposed, and the staff streamlines it into the movie should in, into what the movie should be. Next up, the producers are aware of the fans' desire to get Crush 40 to appear in the Sonic film, even even though the movie is planned early, KC did not rule it off yet is of, of, of getting the ban in the next film. And then after that, Miller, and finally Miller stated this, in each new Sonic movie, as long as the people got the appetite for them, we'll keep adding yet another person from the game universe. Alright, so, and I've already went through the release date and the, and the Hollywood actors for Shadow the Hedgehog. I can say this, they, these are very interesting answers. I know many wanted to see Aiden Rose. I know, I mean, we've already gotten Shadow, but I also seen some wanted to see Rouge the Bat, but also the possibilities of Metal Sonic. I did state that Metal Sonic could appear at some point, but Amy Rose would definitely make sense because, I mean, if you played Sonic Adventure 2, even though she doesn't play that much of a big role in Sonic games nowadays, maybe Frontiers would be, um, she does play a major, crucial role in Adventure 2 when it comes to Shadow the Hedgehog in general. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I suggest you either play the game or watch the movie so you can see what I truly mean about that. And what I find more interesting is the fact that Jim Carrey, I know, it, it, I we all are aware that he's going to be planning to retire at some point, but from what I've heard and for what, from what I was corrected, it turns out that they are not planning to recast Jim Carrey if he ever retires.
Myers. And not only that, it all depends. If they wanted to bring back Jim Carrey, like I said, it was all up to him. And if the script was ever good. That's really one thing. And I did state it before that they could implement the plots between both Sonic the Adventure 2 and the spin-off game of Shadow the Hedgehog, where he stars in it. And, you know, I can see that happen. You know, we get to see the backstory of Shadow, and especially, you know, and, as, and from what I can remember, they did state that no one, Sonic did, cannot deal with somebody this emotionally damaged as Shadow with the backstory of Maria and such. And then there's also the... And then there's also, um, the, and also what Miller said, in each new Sonic movie, if the fans are, you know, appetizing for more, they'll keep adding another person from the game universe. So, depending how well the third movie will sell, then there is a possibility that we'll be seeing another new character in there. It could be characters like Silver the Hedgehog, maybe the, Cha the Chaotix, maybe any character that could be in there. And, you know, I would not mind having either a fourth movie or a spin-off game or a spin-off show that is based on the Sonic movies. You can tell that they wanted to make a perfect or a great Sonic cinematic universe. They've seen, um, Jeff Fowler stated that before. And, you know, speaking of him, um, I mean, he did... <clears throat> He did work on Shadow the Head the game of Shadow the Hedgehog before, so you can see that there may be some elements taken from it. But I want to know all your thoughts and opinions down below about this. What do you all think of the answers that you've gotten? Do you think Amy Rose will appear? And what do you think of Shadow the Hedgehog? You know, of Shadow the role of Shadow the Hedgehog and the release date. I want to know all your thoughts and opinions down below. And so with that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more videos, follow my Twitter, and if you guys do not want to subscribe, then it's completely fine by me. And Remember this, what's the legend or is the legend? Like a bell cut.